All right, check it out, you Kia lovers. I got a new little gadget for my wife's car. Winter time's coming. It's getting a little bit cold out there. She doesn't deal with the cold too well. So I hooked her up with something for her car. Check this out. Just wait for it. Doesn't come with the car like most cars do now, but I had it installed. Check that out. Remote start. So I went to my dealer. I told him I want to get a remote start for my wife. I have it in both uh, her old car and my uh, my Wrangler you guys probably have seen on my channel. And it's a good feature. It really helps out, man. Warm up that car. You don't have to, you know, wait for it to get all warm and stuff. You know, you stay inside. So what they ended up uh, putting in there, they put up, it's from Crime Stoppers or CrimeStopper.com. It's, they do all different things, alarms, remote starts, and the remote start they ended up putting in is a Cool Star G4 Series RS4-G4. It's a one-way remote start and keyless entry system. You can start the car from up to 1,500 feet away. It's got a keyless entry, uh, trunk pop, auto locking, unlocking with ignition. It's got a couple data ports in it, tachometer sensing, a horn honk. It's got uh, some couple extra auxiliary channels. Uh, through data for vehicle with sliding doors and rear glass pops. So I guess if you have other features in your car, you can still, the, I guess the kit's kind of universal. Uh, it has updated software for 2012 and up, and it's, uh, it's got remote panic and all. So, but remote start, guys. I'll show you a little feature on the inside of kind of how to use it a little bit. And I got a couple other more things to show you on my other videos, so. All right, this is what the key fob looks like. For the remote start they stuck it on the rest of her, her key ring but here it is it's got five buttons on it nice little silvery nice little you know little platinum looking chromed out little little gadget here I mean it sucks getting another key fob but it's pretty cool so in order in order to operate it what you have to do is you have to actually hit the lock button here you guys see that click it once and the bottom button it's actually got a key Symbol on you see it above my thumb just hold it down and it'll start blinking a little bit of blue Give it a second See the light come on There we go. There's a the remote start So five button It actually has you know lock on lock trunk uh, Vehicle button. I think you program because you can get up to two-way. I'm not a hundred percent sure what that is but I haven't used it yet, haven't needed to, so I'm sure it's one of the extra ports you can use up to two vehicles, it says, almost like a two-way, so. But you have your lock, on lock, you can hear it, let's pop the trunk, see if it pops. There it goes, up, oh, it opened up, I'll have to reshut that. Alright guys, we're going to start this bad boy up, and we're going to give it a go, show you guys how to use it on the inside. So you hit your lock button, make sure the doors are locked, you see little lights come on. Now you hold this down for a couple seconds, let it blink blue. There you go, you can hear it start. Fuel injection. There it is, remote start. Car is started. All right, to get inside, of course, you can use this key fob, you can use the other one. You hit the unlock button, bang. Here the locks unlock. So, when we get inside, don't mind the camera moving around, I'm gonna get inside. All right, now when you actually hit this, you don't actually have to hit the brake. Since you have, you don't have a key, sometimes you put the key in there, you hit the brake. On, uh, I think on my, yeah, on my Jeep, you don't have to hit the brake. Same thing, you just stick the key in and you twist it. That's it. But since you're a keyless entry, you don't have to do anything besides hit the start, stop button twice. All right, so you see it's running. Now, with the remote start on, the car is running, but your console is off, all right? So what you have to do is, you have to hit just engine start stop. You gotta hit it twice. Once you hit it twice, the screen comes on, you're good to go. You're in normal working condition here. Nothing goes on. So that's how you use it on the inside. Now I'm gonna show you guys again. Let's see if we're about starting. All right, there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that up. I'm gonna shut the car off. I'm gonna go back outside and we'll do this again. All right, here we go. All right, let's 
locked. Remote start. Fuel injection's going. There it goes. Open it up. Now, like I said, with the key, you know, since you don't have a key, if you end up screwing up and hitting the brake pedal, check it out. See, brake pedal shuts the car off. All right, so you don't have to hit the brake pedal, all right? It's not gonna do anything. All it's gonna do is shut your car off and you're gonna have to restart again. So make sure you have to hit that start stop button twice and you guys are good to go. So that is the remote start, it's from Crime Stopper. It's one of the cool start series, the RS4, G4, like I said before, whatever. I'll have it listed on there, you guys wanna check it out. Um, dealership put it in, wasn't that bad on price. Alright guys, I hope you like that, that new addition to the car. That's from Crime Stopper. You go to crimestopper.com. Like I said, it's that Cool Start G4 series, the RS4 G4, the one way remote start and keyless entry system. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys need to get a remote start, ask your dealer. I'm sure they can pull one in or somebody else. They make a lot of new ones for all of our keyless entry cars. So keep watching guys. I'm gonna get uh, more more videos up for the car since you guys like it so much. Great car. Have a good one.